In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest ESCs from Hollybro. Now, these are not any ordinary ESCs, well, at least from the testing, they were not. Uh, so we are going to be noise testing these two and comparing them to other ESCs, some of the best ones, also some of the budget ones out in the market, and see how well do they actually perform. Are they really worth that money that you're about to pay for these? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. PCBWay is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCBWay is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. So today we're looking at the 45 amp variant of their new ESC. As you can tell, they have the logic boards in a separate board here, which is really great now because the amount of copper that's going to be left on the board for the power delivery, just think of it, they're not going to be cut into smaller wires. Basically, you just have more bigger wires to transfer that current down to your motors on both of these ESCs. So the logic board is separated from the main board. So the power delivery is all on the bottom board, which is always really good to have. However, I mean, it's the same case for both of these, but there's also a little extra in there. These are three ounce copper boards. Th that's really expensive to make, by the way. And um, that means it's going to handle much more current. You're going to have less resistance and you're going to have much, much more power delivery. And where you get to see that or feel that is when you're soldering to them. It is an absolute nightmare to solder to them because of the heat dissipation on these is absolutely insane. It's better than anything that I've ever soldered to with a really decent heat sink. Um, the boards themselves are basically heat sinks. It's, it's just pretty crazy here. So the 45 amp variant is slightly smaller here. Um, it is still using F3 microcontroller units. And what's really interesting about these two is they can go to 96 kilohertz PWM output frequency which is pretty insane usually when you crank that up the ESC gets a lot smoother and less noise however I tested the default uh, just so we can get a proper comparison with everything else but again I'm going to revisit that where we play with that slider and do a noise test after each uh, modification so now let's go ahead and take a look at the metal now the first thing you're going to notice is obviously the metal fets and then that huge capacitor rate right? this is equal to around 2000 microfarad of capacitance built into the board and no matter what low ESR capacitor you add to it doesn't even help because it's already perfect. I mean, it's, nothing's, it's, it just won't do anything. Uh, you'll see that in the test right now. So they are rocking their metal ESCs or the metal FETs here, which are really great and they can handle quite, quite a lot here. And again, they have split the logic into a separate board in order to keep more uh, or the traces thicker in order to have more current delivery or power delivery down to your motors. And this whole design has been recently proving itself to be a very good design. Well, at least in these ESCs, that's for sure. Now, this one is slightly wider than the 45 amp variant, but they do perform very, very good. Now, if you're looking for the best ESC on the planet, I think this is this is going to be the one for you, to be honest. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the results. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start with the Hollybro 45 amp variant here. So I'm just going to write 45 amp. This is not the metal one. This is the uh, cheaper one. And uh, if we take a closer look here, we see this is the throttle noise level test. It starts off at 10% throttle, then 25, 50, 75, 100% throttle right here. We can see that's really clean. There's nothing strange going on here. And look at the end point right here, right when it, the, you know, the test stopped. Usually you would see a pretty decent spike here, but look how clean that is. Again, the up top here is with no capacitor, by the way. So no capacitor right there. This is with capacitors, the same test, same ESC, but with the low ESR capacitor that's provided. Look how clean that is. We always want to look for the, the thinner the line, the better the ESC. That That's as basic as it gets right here. Peak to peak was 4.6 volts. So it wasn't even like the noise was like two volts basically up and down, which is r nothing really at all. Uh, this is by far one of the best results I've, I've ever seen. And here as well, this is with the this is the uh, simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. We have uh, no capacitor. Again, we're on the 45 amp variant. And here again, with the capacitor on the bottom, sorry about that. And on the bottom is with the capacitor right there. So we could see that the capacitor is only doing so much. And, you know, the amount of filtration on the 45 amp variant isn't as much as the 65. And it still does this good. That's insane. Like, for example, I'll bring you a Mamba with no capacitor here. Sorry, wrong one. That is a Mamba, but that's the throttle noise. So here's a Mamba right here. Let me erase that real quick. So this one right now is the Mamba, but you can see without a capacitor, the difference. We had a peak to peak of 12 volts on the Mamba here. 
And on the Hollybro 45 amp, we had 9.2 volts. So that is a pretty good significant difference. For the voltage spike, we got a 19.4, the lower the better there. And here's a 21 volt. Voltage voltage drop was 9.2. Here we had 10.2 right here. So those extra capacitors kept that voltage slightly higher. And um, you can see how clean it looks here. Look how clean that is. Here, it's still this is still a really good result, but this is just an insane result right here. And if we actually just move this slightly up like that, this is with the capacitor of the Hollybro 45 amp right there. Um, all I'm trying to tell you is this is a really, 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 really good ESC. Really good ESC. So let's go ahead and jump to the 65 amp variant now. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the 65 amp variant right here. So, I mean, it speaks for itself. I don't know what the hell to say, to be honest. Um, <laughs> this is no capacitor. Both of these tests, the top ones right here. This is the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. And this is the uh, and this is the throttle noise test where we can see the noise at each throttle level. Look at that. That's just look, look how beautiful that is. This is no capacitor. This is just with the default uh, filtration that's on the board with a capacitor. Look at it. It's almost a flat line. I have never, ever, ever seen anything that looked like this ever period like ever i don't think i think this is by far one of the best escs on the planet currently for our fpv uh drones um peak to peak four volts peak to peak five volts with no capacitor here we will just put the capacitor that comes in the box i use the capacitor here um so let's just just move to the simulated aggressive flight maneuver still you know just a one volt difference that's insane with a thousand microfarad like adding a thousand microfarad extra only drops it by one volt because it's already so good you can only do so much Look at the line here. Like you could really read what the ESC was doing. So for example, here we had zero throttle. Boom, that's 100%, 50% throttle. Went back to zero. We could say 35 or something throttle. You could read this like clearly. Like you don't even have to guess on what's going on. And this is what you always want to see. You want to see that as thin as possible. Of course, it's never going to be a flat line because, because obviously when the motors start moving, they need current and then the battery gives the current and it has a voltage drop. And then, yeah, that's how things work here. So this is by far one of the best results I've ever seen. Even this right here. This is this used to be like one of the best results with like a thousand microfarad, but this is just a default filtration on the board. Seven to seven peak. That's crazy. That's three three volts up and three volts down uh, fluctuating in in these areas around that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's just uh, insane. I mean, I, I really can't say anything else other than that. I've never ever seen anything that comes close to this. So um, yeah, by far one of the best noise tested ESC I've ever tested in my life. So this will be definitely on my upcoming builds and uh, my quadcopters. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, everything is linked down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.